this motorcyclist right here has no idea he's about to take his last breath because of the state police. Stay until the end because we're going to talk about what really happened in this video. Welcome to Firehouse Heavyweights TV. I'm your host, King Drum, and on this channel, I'll talk about how parents can keep themselves and their family safe from car wrecks, from fires, and from medical emergencies. Let's talk about this. In this video, and it's just so sad. It's so sad what happened in this entire video. From start to finish, the motorcyclist's name was Michael Owens, 64 years old, and he loved riding motorcycles. Trooper Brandon Truen was following a white vehicle that was traveling at a very high rate of speed. It's very easy to sit here and attempt to blame the police officer for supposed reckless driving. But in fact, he really wasn't. And there's a lot of factors that go into this. One, this is a rural highway there's not many vehicles here traveling you can even see it in the in the video as he's going as the trooper is driving there's maybe a handful of vehicles that kind of come by he's traveling at a very high rate of speed usually they tell us in public safety they teach us to stick to the left side of the road whenever you're going license sirens because that way it's easy for people to just merge on to the right hand side this trooper is likely have to have traveled through this area multiple times to know there's probably not many people that ride in this, on this highway and he's just stick on to the right hand side for the time being. What's really interesting, but it was extremely unfortunate, is how the motorcyclist did not hear or see the trooper coming. And this happened for a few reasons. One. The motorcyclist is driving a, or he's riding a 2000 Yamaha motorcycle. So to begin with, those types of motorcycles, Harley Davidson type motorcycles, are loud. They are loud. The distance where the trooper's coming from is still pretty far out before you might even be able to hear him or see him. Now if you're on a motorcycle that is loud, 
and you might hear a very faint sound of a siren from that police officer that's driving fast, you're probably not going to hear him. So when you see Michael on the motorcycle cross the median, he just finished doing his checks. He just looked. There was nobody there. He couldn't hear anything. So he started going. He went and his goal was to get to the far right hand lane. Once the trooper got to where he was at, you can clearly see in the video that the trooper attempted to possibly go to the left, go to the right, and just go right into the ditch. I think what happened here as the motorcyclist was coming through and the troopers coming right behind him, I think the trooper assumed that maybe the motorcyclist was going to go to the left hand lane and kind of stay there and it would have given him a little bit of space to kind of squeeze around him but the motorcyclist kept coming through and he's still not going to hear the trooper coming because he was just accelerating so since he was just accelerating the motorcycle is going to be so much louder to even hear what happened i want you guys to take a closer look at this footage i'm going to try to slow down right here and i want you to observe as the trooper is coming in notice how the motorcycle rider passes the median he passes the fast lane if he passes the slow lane if he would have stayed on the slow lane the trooper could have scooted around him on the shoulder but if you notice the, the rider continues into the shoulder himself which is where the trooper forced himself into the ditch and just clipped the rider he just clipped him and this is what I'm saying, like, it's so unfortunate because I truly believe, and it's clearly evident in this video, that this trooper did everything he can possibly do. No idea what the rider was thinking, what he was going to go do, but I can guarantee he had no idea someone was behind him. Otherwise, I don't think he would have done this maneuver either. I'm pretty sure when he looked, assumed that no one was there, and he had enough time to go maybe pull off to the side of the road. Maybe he was going to a business that's right on the right hand side right there on the video. But either way, this really sucks for all parties involved. Michael Owens, the, the writer, he died at the hospital, but not on scene. He died at the hospital. So that just goes to show that this officer did everything he possibly could to avoid this situation. That was so unfortunate. What really saved the officer in the situation as well is that he turned on his lights and sirens long beforehand. Had this happened and he didn't have any lights or sirens, this would be a whole different situation that happened. But this is truly an accidental tragedy that happened. And my condolences go out to the Owens family as well as the Troopers family. And I hope both families and the trooper can move forward and can recover so condolences to them i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like and subscribe and share this video let me know in the comments what you think about this video and this whole situation that happened i'll see you guys in the next one